Hey, what's going on? My name is Omari Harabin, founder of sqspthemes.com, a third-party marketplace for Squarespace themes and plugins. Today, I'm going to walk you through choosing a Squarespace template. Now, if you're building a Squarespace website for the first time, uh, this is where you're going to start. Uh, the first decision you have to make is what template am I going to use to start with? Now, if you go to squarespace.com backslash templates, this is what you're going to find. It is a gallery uh, where you can sort by category. So let's say you're a photographer, um, you'd select photography and you can see the recommended templates for that particular category. Uh, so another example, let's say you're a musician creating your own website. These are some of the recommended templates for a musician to start with. Now, the benefit of this is that um, these templates or these sites that these templates were uh, built on um, were built with musicians in mind. So you're going to have a lot of those uh, core functional ideas already embedded. Now, let me take a preview here at one of these and show you what it looks like. Now, when you're doing this, uh, of course, the category is a good place to start, but you might say, okay, none of these sites look like anything I, I want. Maybe there's certain functions or features that you want to have, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So this is what the preview looks like. You can check it out in tablet view, uh, mobile view, uh, and you can also see what customers, other Squarespace customers have done with the same template. Now, remember that here I was looking at musician websites. Let me open this in a demo. I was looking at musician websites, but these customers have used it for what looks like a restaurant, uh, some kind of skincare studio, uh, another artist. It looks like there's a beverage company here using the same template. So, of course, these templates are versatile. You don't have to feel like you're are boxed in or you're limited. But again, uh, each template has different features and functionalities, which I'll show you uh, in a moment. So while that loads, if it loads, uh, Squarespace has an outline here of all of the templates grouped by family. Now, each family of templates has the same exact features and functionalities that you might want. Uh, so, for example, a popular one is Brine, and all of these other templates have the same exact uh, features as Brine. Now, how would you know that? I mean, you'd have to kind of go back and forth between uh, this, not this screen, but you'd have to go back and forth between the template gallery here and this particular chart to kind of figure out what templates go together. Luckily, our friends over at ilovecreatives.com uh, have already done some of this work for us, and they have sorted each one of these templates uh, as a family. So instead of looking at it as, you know, this is a category for online stores, uh, here they're broken down by template family. So again, the Brian template, all of these other templates you can create with Brian. All right, so think of each one of these as just a different skin on top of the same core template. And again, that same concept applies, for example, the, the Tremont template. All of these other three templates share the same parallax scrolling, the same uh, animations, the same back page, background image transitions, that type of thing. Similar with York. And so I'll share a link to this particular page because it's very useful if you are looking at the different template features and you want to make sure that you get the right features. Not only that, but they also have a section here on this page where if you have a particular feature that is like a must have. So, for example, parallax scrolling, say you need to have that on your website, then you can choose exactly which template family uh, is going to have that feature and you can ignore all of the rest. Now, again, the best way to choose your template is to either start uh, start right here by choosing a category and scrolling through or try and, excuse me, or looking at the different uh, features and functionality uh, using a comparison uh, table like the one that I'm sharing with you here. So jumping back real quickly, here is the, the template I chose initially. 
you can see there's a section here for shows and announcements um, for your SoundCloud embed, uh, you know, to book. And so this is, you know, a really simple template for a musician to get started with. But you're not limited to just being a musician to use this. You can use this for whatever other purpose that you want, as long as you, um, as long as the overall feel of the site uh, goes with what you're looking for. All right. So I hope this was useful for you. Again, I'll share the links, the necessary links below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. You can subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more videos like this where I'm simply walking you through uh, this platform through all of its little nooks and crannies. All right. Again, my name is Omari Harabin, founder of sqspthemes.com. You can email me at omari at sqsp themes .com, uh, and I'll definitely get back to you. All right. Peace.